Breaking Units and dance partner Whitney Carlson had their best week yet, scoring two tens for the Pirates of the Caribbean and spying Argentine Tango. It was the second highest score of the night. Welcome you two. Hi guys. Hi. Two tens. And Frankie, right before that dance, you were like, I forgot. I don't know if I can do it, right? I, every week. I mean, it's you know, I'm so out of my element dancing, you know, yeah. but like I don't know how I'm not getting used to it every Monday night, but like it is the most nerve-wracking thing I've ever done. And I I I I give her kudos for putting up with me because literally every single time right before we go on, I'm like, I don't even remember how the music goes. How does it start? Count it in. Like, what's the first move? Like, I can't even remember literally the first step. Oh my God. But, uh, like literally in the parking lot, like before we go live on television, practicing. like just practicing over and over again. Doesn't that freak you out a little bit? Because it's one of those things like you can only do half the dance. Yeah, yeah. You know? No, it did at first because you're right. It's live. It's like you're, you're not in control of them. So it's scary. But after the first show, I was like, okay, he can do it. This is just his process. He gets really nervous and, and crazy before we go live. And then something just happens. You just turns it on it's crazy I'm like where was that in rehearsal do yeah. you say something to him right before like right before the lights come up and you start your dances or any kind of ritual or anything that goes on not really we kind of just just get right into it as you, soon as usually the music it's comes me on. going uh, how to start remind me counting and counting and like just so we can do the first move really fast and and then like the, the click starts and you start yeah. and it is weird like I just I, I don't know what like where my brain goes or where I go when we do the performance live, but like I do, I feel like I do become a different person. Like when I watch it, I go, that is not me. He seriously <laughs> does. I look but at it him, is. I, I know, I look at him when the music starts and I'm like, dang, Frankie, okay, we're in yeah. it, all right. It's funny. Awesome. Do you remember the dance after? Do you like kind of not black out during the performance, but you just sort of lose yourself? You know, it's funny, like when we rehearse, I remember every single step. Like I yeah. can remember where I took a breath, where I blinked, like, you know, when we're rehearsing and I can, I can point out all the things I did wrong but when we do the, the dance live like we get done and I go wait we did did we do the whole middle part like because you, know, like, you just you're just in it you're and you do it. it and and it's like uh, muscle memory I yeah, guess yeah. which speaking of memory I mean I, I didn't realize this about you but you've had terrible memory loss was that a result of the race car injuries you know I, I don't have an exact answer of, of yeah. where it comes from it's not something I've necessarily looked into like my, my memory issues um it just like I, I always kind of say, like it's it's my life. Like I don't I, I don't know how your brain is supposed to remember or not. Yeah. But my like I have family members, my mom. People tell me stories of things that, like I feel like I should remember that, that don't ring a bell. Like I'm I'm reminded, like I know what I've done based on like pictures and like stories. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, I don't necessarily have like exact memories of of being there or doing certain things. But uh, I don't know. Wow. I, I I don't know what the cause of it is and you've but had I, a lot of concussions though i mean you probably should get that checked out if you <laughs> haven't looked but let's right say yet. like malcolm in the middle yeah. yeah what do you remember about that well i watched i binge watched 100 all 151 episodes this year because i'd never mm -hmm. seen the show so like my memory of the show is now watching it as like a fan but you don't remember Aww. like oh i remember that day on set or no, I, there there may be like a small amount of spe like specifics that I I, yeah. I remember like when we watch it I I remember things but like to be honest I got to watch the show as a fan because I didn't remember what was gonna happen like I didn't yeah. remember filming it or even know like what my character did never know never mind the other storylines but you know I I, uh, I appreciate it you know I appreciate the show I appreciate that I even have that to look back on and like I got to experience something pretty incredible and yeah you know, now I'm doing something yeah. else and and how great was it to have this weekend Brian Cranston oh, yeah. in so the great. tape kind of just take you back down memory lane a little bit. Brian is yeah. honestly like the most incredible human ever. I mean, he's my idol in oh. just the person that he is, but also like as an actor, but he, you know, he's always stayed in touch, you know, over the, the show ended 12 years ago already, 11 years ago. He was your ago. dad on the show. But uh, yeah, yeah, so it's, he's amazing. I'm, I'm so grateful. To have when him. did you friend. realize the memory wasn't there I, I for certain things? It's, it's more like, a, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I'll go home to visit my family mm -hmm. and my, my mom will start talking about stories or talk about something or talk about someone. And like, she'll be like, how do you not remember that? And so like it started, it yeah. started just being like, wow, wow, I really don't remember that much. You know what I mean? But I don't know, you know, I, I had an extremely busy life since I was eight years yeah. old. Like I was nonstop, you know? So part of me goes like, maybe I, maybe it is the concussions. Maybe it's just the fact that like I had so much going on that I didn't absorb much. I don't know. I, yeah. I, I, I don't know.